Hey there. Okay, so the first thing we need is I went and I picked up a 1x12 of the nice pine boards, you know, and I got a six foot length. Okay, because total this is going to be six foot, so we don't need it more than that. Now it's already in pretty good shape, but I'm still going to do a sand on it. I'm going to do a quick 60 and then I'll go right to 220. I just want to make sure that it's all nice and neat because after this we'll do the lines for the ruler and I'm also going to try burning it too. Okay, so I'm going to do a real quick 60 and then on both sides and then a 220. got this all sanded. I popped it with some white vinegar and then I did another light sanding. So what we're going to do is we're now going to turn it into a giant ruler. Take my speed square and we're going to go up and I'm just going to mark the inches. And we're actually going to make it so that they'll hang it from six inches off the floor. So here would be the edges would be six inches seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, but we're gonna mark every inch. We're just gonna draw a little line all along. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm just gonna go all the way up drawing little lines. Okay. You don't need to watch me draw little lines, right? Okay, I'll be back in a minute. penciled the measurements and then up here I wrote you are love beyond measure okay it's actually a Bible scripture but so that's all penciled in so the next thing I'm gonna do is take my burning pen and I'm going to start burning each individual line this is gonna take a while but this is what we do for friends, right? So, so that you know, that's what I'm going to be doing for like the next hour. And I'm not going to make you watch it, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So that hour of burning took me an hour and 45 minutes. But it's done. So... So now I'm going to let everything cool down and then we'll go on to the next step, which I think the next step will just be polying it. I got to rub on poly, but I want to let it like cool and relax and stuff before I do that. So I'll be back. Okay, so we burnt it all. Mm. Oh, and it hit it on the garage door. <laughs> Sheet. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is, can you see it okay? Like that? Is that better? Okay, so see that? How do I angle the camera down so you can, I need to angle it down so you can see that because you don't need to see this. That's what I'm gonna do. Hold on. Okay, but now you can't see all the board. <sighs> Anywho, we're going to poly this. You ever have a day? Okay, so we've got it burnt and cooled and everything else. And now I'm going to do a white bomb poly on here. I want to do a couple coats. So I just got some Minwax Fast Dry. I don't know if you're supposed to shake it or not, but I do. And I also don't know. I think it's just, just I pour it on because it's pine just soaks it up anyways. I just pour a whole shoot load. Let's face it, shitload full on here. 
fight, 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 fight. Okay. So did I tell you who this was for? My previous facility I worked at, remember, I work for people with dementia. Well, I had a caregiver. Caregiver, CNA, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Anyways. She was a sweet, I always called her little one. Because she was young, same age as my kids, which now looking, not so young. And big, big heart. She loved her residents. I'm gonna say this because she'll agree with me. She she was a little bit flighty. Sometimes had a little bit of trouble focusing on what I was actually saying. But she tried. You always knew she was giving 110%. And she grew up. And now that little one is having a little one. I'm very proud of her. She moved on to working in an actual legit doctor's office. And now instead of people telling her what to do, she gives them instructions on what to do. So. I wanted to make sure to give her a special gift for her little one. And make sure she knew that I am so amazed and happy with the adult she has become. So, this present is for Alyssa and for her little one, Ariel. Now, this is the first coat of poly. We'll let it dry out here in the sun. And then we'll do a light sanding on it, put another one, figure a couple coats. And then I was going to put these little hookies on the back before I did this side. I realized I only had one of these little shark teeth thingies. So I have to go pick up more of these. So instead, this will dry. It shouldn't take long to dry because it says it's super fast. Oh, actually, see, I should have read the directions. It actually says I can shake well. It says after two or three hours, I can lightly sand. So we'd be good. I'm also going to go do lunch with Bonniekins today, too. So, okay. I'll be back. Of course, you won't realize that. It'll be like two seconds, but... gasoline to catch something on fire. No, I promise. Let's just rub on poly. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm using a lavalier lapel mic. So you guys will have to tell me how it goes because the last time I used a lavalier, well, it wasn't it wasn't a road brand though. This is like a legit one. I did an Amazon knockoff one. It did not go so well. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to figure out where to put these little Dracula teeth to hang this with. So I'm thinking one inch from each side, which would be here and here, so that 
it'd be easy enough to hang. So then, because I'm going to need to do pilot holes, I'm penciling in the holes. And I used a square to make sure it was legit. Okay, so we got that. So we got the marks. See the marks right there? Oh, can you see the marks? You can see the marks, okay. So, I got a drill. I got a drill. I got a hammer. I'm gonna move the little screws onto the little towel I have because I put a towel on the sawhorses so because I you know I polyed the other side and I didn't want to wreck the other side. So and I'm just gonna do a smidgen down to do like a starter hole for the nails so it doesn't split the pine. Next, we're going to take and the big thing about this is that when you hit it, it'll make the it'll make the nails bounce. So that. So we got these set. They're beautiful. Okay, and make sure when you do this as a gift, take the little hookies that go with this and like um, blue tape them on the back so that they have the hooks to go with it. It makes a cute gift. It makes it so it's a really functional gift. Okay? I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, so my plan over here is to write Love Maggie to 2023 and then I'm going to burn it on. Yikes! Okay, that. So next I'm gonna go get the um, burning pen. Be right back. Okay, you can't really see me. Hi, how are you? But I wanted you to be able to see me like burning, maybe. Okay, here we go. This actually takes a long 